Boom! This is Marco Terminesi, Florida's Canadian real estate agent. And today we are going to address the number one topic that has been blowing up my phone all week from my fellow Canadians and my out-of-state American buyers. I have received a lot of phone calls and text messages with these exact questions from different potential northern buyers. What is life in Florida like now with COVID? What do the grocery stores look like? Do people wear masks? Can you go to the movie theater there? Are they wearing masks? What do your malls look like? Are the schools requiring young children to wear masks? Do I need to wear a mask? Should I wear a mask? Are the restaurants open? Can I go to a sports bar and watch a game? Do I need to show a vaccination card anywhere? These are excellent questions, and I'm assuming that my potential buyers are wanting to know this because they would like to gauge their comfortability level for them and their family. I will show you real life how Florida currently is living and answer all your questions for you. Simply just giving you the real life on the streets visual so you can make a decision that's comfortable for you and your family. Okay, I want to start by taking you to the local Publix grocery store. The key word as I show you around town when it comes to COVID is optional. In every place we're visiting, masks are optional for the patrons, but all of the employees we're seeing seem to be wearing them. It's up to you as a consumer to determine whether you want to wear one or not. They are not currently mandatory in most places you would go to during your average day here in South Florida. Also note, it's Sunday afternoon, and at least in this public store, there is plenty of room around each person. So use your discretion whether you choose to wear a mask or not. It is optional based on your level of comfort. Everyone is different, and it doesn't seem to me anyone is getting judged at any time. It's a very calm, routine, respectful environment. But again, use your judgment. This is just what I am seeing and feeling. Now let's go to the movies. This is a beautiful, very new Sinopolis theater. It was recently renovated for about $10 million and it's one of the more upscale movie theaters in town that my family and I have ever been to. I got to meet the general manager here who was so kind to let me film and walk around. They have a whole entire bar. You could order food and drinks and watch a game before your movie is ready. They even bring you food and drinks right to your seats. As you can see, it's in between movies, so there are very few people here and plenty of personal space. All of the employees here have masks on and you decide if you want to wear one or not. Let me show you the seating area. Check this out. I also went into a live movie plane. There's actually people in here watching. Please know I did this for you. Just simply trying to answer your questions with real life footage so you can make the best decision for you and your family. That's what's most important. All right, let's head to the mall and I'll show you what that looks like right now. We have a mall here called the Gardens Mall in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. It's very nice, new and modern. Everything is spread out so with COVID, you can always keep a safe distance from other people and still get some serious shopping done. Remember, this is a Sunday afternoon, so it doesn't get much busier than this. And you can imagine, if this was a weekday, it would be much less crowded. This is actually why I wanted to show you these locations on a Sunday in season, which is our winter months and most crowded. They even allow you to bring your dogs in here. It's very pet friendly. So there is something for everyone and so many nice stores to check out. Here's a Starbucks and you can see the folks getting in line. Definitely people with and without masks. The vibe is very relaxed. I genuinely feel that everyone is really respectful of each other when it comes to whether they want to wear a mask or not. Okay, let's hit one of my favorite restaurants. It's called Guanabanas and it's right on this little cool lagoon. Here you can see the live band. It's a calm Sunday afternoon, but at least one person is dancing and having fun. 
and all of the folks are comfortably spaced out from one another. Lots of restaurants and bars have outdoor areas like this and they are great. Also, the sports bars are open and some also have outdoor areas like this too if you feel more comfortable outside watching a game. Since it's so warm down here, it's amazing to have the luxury of outdoor dining all year long. Check out the area right next to the water. You never really have to be that close to anyone else and you get tons of fresh air. But again, wear your mask if you're concerned and keep your distance, it's totally your call. Here's another restaurant we like called Lenora's that is busy right now, but they have indoor and outdoor seating options, which is great. Also, please know, you don't need to show a vaccination card to enter any of the places I just showed you. As for the schools, it varies on the counties and sectors, whether it's public or private. It can also vary per week due to the different situations, so it's hard to give you a definite answer to what any school policy is at any given time. I can give you my current factual information on my own children's school, and they are currently on optional, so parents can decide if they want to have their kids wear a mask or not. I hope this helps you visualize what life is like here in Florida without physically being here. And I hope I answered all of your good questions that I've been receiving this week. If you have any other questions or topics you would like me to cover, please comment on this video and I will always answer honestly and respectfully. If you thought this video provided useful and helpful information, please slap that like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you can get notified when I launch a new video. Your Florida realtor, Marco Terminesi. I am first line in any inside information, and this page, this page. It's not a page, it's a channel, YouTube channel. If you thought this video provided useful and helpful information, please slap that like button. Nope, slap that subscribe button. Have a great day and I'll see you down here soon. Oh yeah, no, I think that could be working. You think that could work?